Hey guys, so Messi and Poloni sent this cable over for me to have a look at today, which I wanted to show you. This is called Hyperflex 10. It is the same, or very, very similar, sorry, as their other Hyperflex 10 product. But you'll notice that this one's a little bit different. It is in a white PVC jacket. Why is that? Well, this is a special type of cable. This is FT8, uh, labeled as Hyperflex 10 FT8, uh, Sahara. Now this is for hot countries or hot environments where you might be running, say, an amplifier with high power, um, where the, the end of the cable or the cable's gonna get hot, or also in hot uh, climates where direct sunlight and the hot air might uh, change the characteristics of other normal cable, whereas this cable is, is designed for those environments. It has a uh, braid, which is on the outside. This is made up of apparently 216 copper wires. This offers 85% uh, screening. The inside here, the foil, copper foil, 100% screening as well. So this is, again, excellent cable for reducing the amount of noise in the environment that you might have. Uh, the dielectric underneath is uh, foamed polyethylene and uh, the inner conductor is 19 copper wires, so about uh, three millimeters diameter or so inside that cable. So there's some uh, different specifications to this cable compared to Hyperflex 10. Um, their regular product, it is very similar. If I'll flash that up on the screen. This cable is also very um, handy for, high, as I mentioned, high power handling. So um, for instance, it can handle, I think it's about at uh, uh, 40 meters, it can handle almost six kilowatts. So it's quite uh, quite a lot of a power that this can uh, handle. Of course, that varies upon frequency as well. At uh, about two meters, it's still about 1.5 kilowatts. Uh, M&P actually have a very nice um, graph which shows uh, frequency versus the um, power percentage output that you get from attenuation if you were to um, run uh, uh, various lengths of this cables. I've shown this in a previous video. These are just the standard uh, MMP compression type um, coaxial fitting connectors, which you can see this is a PL259, same sort of thing. But if we undo this back clamp bit, then we can insert this and you can buy these separately as well. This is a little heat suppressor. Now this uh, will fit this cable and you can basically just screw this on the back of this connector. And then what that will do is it will dissipate the heat that comes out of the radio. So if you've got this plugged into say a radio or an amplifier that's producing high power, then the connector can warm up because if you've ever grabbed the end of a connector or cable after you've been transmitting high power, um, like high FT8 duty cycle or something like that, you'll notice that the connector is quite warm and then conventionally the cable is quite warm. And then what happens is, is that the characteristics of the cable can change due to that uh, extra temperature. So that's what this uh, heat suppressor is for, is just to add a little bit more heat sinking so that uh, the, the heat is dissipated here rather than further down the back of the cable. This will also be good for contesters as well because not necessarily um, FT8 high power, but there's uh, other contesters that might run high duty cycle environments that would benefit from cables such as this. The other thing that can happen too is, is that prolonged heating of this dielectric in the center can also deform the cable. So for instance, if it's uh, uh, again a high duty cycle environment contesting or digital modes, if this is heated up and then cooled down, then heated up and then cooled down, the dielectric can deform and can uh, change the cable's characteristics such as uh, that you'll get an impedance mismatch, uh, you'll get higher SWR and also uh, you'll get some, um, some other funky things happening as well. And then of course that can just continue on and on depending on how long you run it for. So yeah, these are a cool little idea and uh, I think they're only a couple more bucks just to grab that to, um, plug, uh, to um, screw into the end of the cable. Now this is some other cable that I am a fan of and I wanted to show off as well in this video. This is Hyperflex 13. This is the, I think this is the thickest cable that they actually make at MMP. And this cable, look at the attenuation of this, uh, of this cable. So at 14 megahertz, so 20 meters, one dB per 100 meters. So you're gonna get one dB of loss. That is pretty good. 144 megahertz, 100 meters again, 3.6 dB. So about half your power if you run 100 meters of this stuff. But it's starting to creep up here. If we go up in frequency, 430 megahertz, 
6.4 dB, 2.4 gigahertz. So a lot of my microwave viewers will appreciate this cable. 2.4 gigahertz, 16.68 dB per 100 meters. 10 meters of this is 1.6 dB of loss. 10 meters at 2.4 gigs. To get cable this small and this flexible is quite hard uh, for, uh, for, for that frequency. Let's just open this up for a second. I'll just show you. It is, it is, it is thick cable. It's, it is thicker than, uh, thicker than, you know, <laughs> your average RG213. But if we just undo this, it is still super, super flexible. Like that's going to be very handy for me for running my microwave um, antennas away from where my transverters are operating. So traditionally when I'm operating on microwave, I like to have it all set up really close to the, um, the dish uh, antenna. And there's a little bit of a problem with that because I like to operate where it's comfortable if it's you know behind the car or underneath the shade or something. And it's not always possible. If I can put the dishes out or the antennas out a little bit further, then it means that I can use this cable. So this looks like a pretty good compromise. Um, 1.6 dB of loss for 10 meters of, of this cable at 2.4 gigahertz. Like, that's not too bad. Uh, for those um, who are wondering in feet, that's about 5 dB per 100 feet. I have, it looks like, tested this up to about 12 gigahertz. 12 gigahertz for 100 meters of this cable has 46 dB of loss, so you know, uh, 10 meters of it's about 4.6 dB. So for this cable, I'm probably gonna hook this up to my 1.2 gigahertz antenna, my Yagi antenna here at home. I'm gonna have a short length of cable for portable operation, so I can use that like a, you know, five or six meter length of cable so that I can run that out and, uh, and operate away from the car. Again, if you want to have, uh, get any of these cables, there is a link in the description below. Uh, and you can get 5% off your order. And if you haven't heard of Messi and Poloni cables before, I have done a video on their other Hyperflex products. Uh, I'll put a link to it right here so you can go over and watch that right now.